probably getting a two for one tonight. Yes, yes, she has. <laughs> <laughs> a double header, I guess they, yeah. they call it. <laughs> but uh, I'm Charles again. Uh, well, I'm not going to say again. This is maybe somebody's first time seeing this video. But I'm Charles Orr. This is my beautiful wife right here, Jasmine Orr. Hey. And we are the Orr family. Um, so tonight, uh, discussion is going to be about, this is kind of my wife. Okay, so tonight's discussion is a couple that I've been talking to, and they are kind of going through some issues. They have been together for a very long time. They are already a blended family, and there was... So a long time is a few years. Yeah, more than five. More than five, okay. And they are dealing with some cheating or infidelity issues, and the guy ended up getting another female pregnant. So... And so I've been talking to them. A little background about me. I've never told you guys this, but I am, um, I have an undergrad in psychology and then I went and got my master's in social work, which um, I'm able to practice therapy and I'm currently in my internship to become an LCSW, which is a licensed clinical social worker and I practice therapy currently. So, yeah, black girl magic. Okay. But, um, so I've been doing that and I've been talking to this couple and I started thinking like, I actually know a few other couples like this and it's not, yes, who have experienced it and we've experienced it early in our relationship. So it's not marriage specific, but it's definitely long-term relationship specific and it can be very hurtful, and we just wanted to kind of touch base on that. So basically tonight's question, to kind of give you some direction here is, how do you move forward when you dealt with that level of betrayal and hurt where there is another child coming into the mix? You know, when you decide to make that commitment to stay together and possibly move past it, to work it how out. do you work really it out? Work it out. So. Um, our own situation is, as you all know, when I got with my husband, um, at some point I was aware that he had three children. And after we moved in and got our first place together, I later found out that he had a child. And not only did he have a child, mm -hmm. but this child was one years old. And I was like, what? Who does that? So um, I was hurt. It was, I mean, the pain that I felt was on another level. So I can't imagine someone who's been in it 8, 10, 15, 20 years with somebody and to receive that well, kind of really in. No, we weren't that, we were a few years in. What's the few? Two, a couple, a couple of years in. Maybe two, okay. But I will say this, um, what kind of took away the bite for me is that the pregnancy and his cheating occurred very early in our relationship. I think I was more hurt that it was kept from me, it yeah. was hidden from me. Yeah. And I, I kind that. of felt like I started looking at him a little different, like, you know, I don't really know, like, how do you not tell somebody that, you know, that's like denying the kid. That's not, it's not cool. So, um, so I can speak on that. Speak on yeah. it. Speak on yeah. it. <laughs> speak on it. So I'm just kind of recall back uh, during that time. Uh, of course, I was a lot younger. I was yes. in the early 20s, 21. You were like 20. 20, something like that. Um, but I think the reason why I kind of... So this was kind of like from a person that I was dealing with kind of bef before I actually met my wife. And kind of doing the first part of us, you know, kind of dating and kind of being together. And then, of course, nine months down the line, and I'm having a baby. And I think the biggest thing I felt was if she find out about this kid, that the relationship was going to be over. It's over. Why? Because one, I knew she was a person that had standards, she was going to college. And she already, was, yeah, and we had already had had early situations yeah. before with. There was stuff you know, where he was, you know, trying to talk to other people, and I was telling him like straight and up. And she like, talked to somebody else. Okay, Teddy, uh, yeah, Teddy. Yeah. So Petty. either way, <laughs> but because of you know, we both was young, like I say, and we both was kind of figuring out ourselves and trying to figure out the relationship. So 
because of that, I honestly felt like, dang, I would really mess up my chances with her if she would find out about the kids. So but the I crazy tried part is, he tried to keep it on the hush. As long but as what possible. happened, y'all remember back in the day where you didn't have to have the phone to like, like, so you couldn't access the voicemail just from the phone. You had to call the phone, then put in the passcode. So he left out and I was like, and I was the girl that was like a snooper. I'm not proud of it. Okay, but things happen. And you know yes, what? Sir. To the women who FBI. aren't, I think that's amazing. And I, I <laughs> promised myself I would not be that woman now that I am a grown woman because I think it's some level of insecurity, insecurity. Distrust, distrust and all that. And it's not healthy. You don't need to be with somebody that, that you, you have to check up on. But anyway, it happened, whatever. But fellas, so, you don't need to be doing anything just because... Yeah, please don't, don't, because that's nasty. Yes, you yes, need yes. to keep it wrapped up. It's STDs out here. And nobody trying to get... You don't need to be cheating on a woman. Yeah, oh, well, oh yeah, absolutely. That's what we're okay, I'm sorry. No, yeah, yeah you're yeah, yeah. especially... Yes, be so don't worry about first, the But don't be ridiculous. So anyway, yes. I snooped. I called. I heard this voicemail from this girl, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. She kind of going off, and she didn't say who she was. And I called the number back. I was like, hey, girl, um, you calling for Trey? And she was like, yeah, this is his friend. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know Cause about Because, of course, I tell her the situation. So, so he she's... tells her, and these two commit like, he's like, man, I got a girl. She don't know nothing about the baby. You know, that's just me. We we know that we got the baby. Because I was this, and then... My I dear. was shocked that she went along with him with this. So when I called her, she was like, mm, she wasn't giving nothing. So I said, girl, let me call you back. I'm going to reach out to him and um, I'm going to let him know you called his homegirl, right? So my dad knows nothing. He else. knows nothing. So I said, okay, homegirl. So I said, what can I say to her? Because see, if you piss her off, then she gonna, she's going to say something. So get off the phone. I called her back. I was like, girl. He told me, I don't know her, tell her don't be calling my phone. She was like, oh, he don't know me. I was like, got her. Got you. Got okay, her. okay. What is it? Cover is blown. When she told me, <laughs> I was like, your name isn't. Such and such. Your name isn't the other such and such. No, this is, I was like, done. So at this point, my husband's kids look identical to him. Like, if you see all six of our kids, they look like they have the same mother and father. Like, they really look a lot alike. So, yeah. they really do. So, um, <laughs> at this point, I'm like, okay. I said, well, look. Come to my house. Bring the baby. And I need to see if this baby looks like him. But we were both young. Me, me and the girl yeah. are young. And so, like, she looked well, like, all right, I'm going to bring my goddamn <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna be denied, she but. came and I opened that door and I almost died. Okay, the baby looked identical. Like what? Who? This is a real person. Like okay, let that sink in. I can't hold water. So when I tell you, I called him immediately and I was like, you know what? I found out about your little butt. It's over. He, and I think he, I came to the house and she he came there. and. But then he ran off somewhere. <laughs> of course I did. I came Literally. Oh, he God. ran. Because <laughs> she tried to ambush me. I get there and she's there with the baby. I'm looking like, oh, this Just, is not a good thing. Oh, it was a mess. Okay, but so for us, kind of moving forward, I think that it was painful, but you were willing to, to take a lot of the attitude and the Yes. Okay, so yeah. so let me speak to that. So, and this is something that I kind of, you got to understand. Like, when you mess up, fellas, I'm speaking to the guys now. When you mess up and you cheat or you do something, you know, disrespectful, something that you ain't supposed to have been doing, and then all of a sudden you get caught and your girl gets upset or your wife gets upset, whoever your partner is, and they go in on you. You yeah. gotta expect that. You gotta expect for her to be pissed off. You gotta expect for her to call you all types of names. You gotta expect for her to sometimes even threaten you to go out and sleep with the next man to try to get back at you. But see, I'm a but woman then, of virtue. Yes, <laughs> but, but the threats <laughs> will come. You gotta let a woman, I believe, to actually vent. And if, it's, if you truly love the woman and you 
truly want to be with that person and you really feel like, okay, I really messed up, this was really an actual mistake, then you just got to go through the pain. You got to go through the suffering because you're but how the one long? I think that's the issue with the guys. Because I feel like they think the vending should be like like it's time. Like, okay, it's, it's been two weeks now. I can tell We're you, over it. I can, <laughs> I can tell you this. Time can go on forever. It's time is just gonna keep. It's just gonna. What did what did uh what's that girl say? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> But no, Probably so the time frame. Don't worry about the time frame. Just think positive. Just think I gotta get back in good grace. I gotta go back, get back to her trusting me. Cause that's the biggest thing is just the trust factor. And that's the one thing that I learned dealing with my wife is trust is very much the glue. I guess you'll say to any relationship. Once the trust kind of goes out the door. Just be prepared for a rocky relationship. Now, I'm not saying that once the trust is gone that you can never get the trust back because, of course, that yeah. has happened for us. But I definitely do feel like, fellas, this is the time where you got to man up, suck it up, you know. Yeah, if you guys are like you're tough and you can hang out in the streets and, And understand, you know, cheating, why you should not cheat on someone that you love and that you're committed to and you're definitely married to, Cheating is a lot different than a child resulting from cheating. Yes. That's I have true. to deal with this woman. I got to deal with this baby. And a lot of the time, like, I was so up and down because one moment I wanted to be all in. And it wasn't for the right, genuine, authentic reasons. I wanted to be all in because I wanted to know, so oh, is this how you act around her now? Is this how you acting with the baby? And I'm like... It was so, so much to involved to see what I was. I did, and it was a lot of um, kind of like jealousy, and more so kind of towards the child initially. Like, yeah, because we didn't have no kids too, by the way. I yeah, I'm looking like, house. what? Like, you have? To, I don't, I don't want to see this kid. Like, I, I don't even need to know that this is for real. This whole situation really happened. Like, yeah. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see the baby. And then the next week, it's like, well, you know what? We got to call her because I'm just going to have to deal with it head on. I'm going to have to face it. Let's bring so the kid in. So the roller in. coaster of emotions. The roller coaster was uh, up, down, uh, sideways, backflip, whatever. It was all over the place. And when I finally said, you know what? It's not the child's fault. And even though I knew that, that really didn't even mean anything at the yeah, time. Because it's like, okay. I'm so hurt. I don't, I, I don't, I don't have kids. I think I'm 19 or 20. I'm not really thinking like, well, the baby. It's like, and even when you're older, even yeah. as a woman my age, you're not thinking about this baby. I, I yeah. don't, I don't want this situation at all. My kids like, the feeling, so. right. <laughs> and that's how I felt a lot of the time. So I think what made it worse for us in our situation is that when I finally tried to embrace it again, we were young. My husband's family kind of got involved and things really started falling apart. Like yeah. the girl reaching out to them and a lot of different things that was just kind of like, what? I didn't do that. I didn't. She said, she said, yeah. yeah. And, but I what really kind of helped us get back on the right track is everything that I'm saying now, I told him. So I'm sure he didn't want to hear it, but I was able to communicate like, no, I don't want to see this kid. No, you yeah. can see him when I'm gone. Like, I don't want to be at the house. I don't want to deal with it. And, and he I was receptive. Think it's, and I think expressing those emotions and women, it's men, so whoever it is, definitely uh, get that out. Because holding it in, it does no good for you. It does no good for your relationship. And it does good, no good for just the overall picture. You know, because right. if somebody's feeling a certain type of way and you're trying to hold in those feelings, nothing is getting resolved. So I definitely encourage you guys uh, to definitely, you know, kind of speak your mind, let you know how you feel, and fellas, suck it up. You know, you gotta just take it. You know, it's, you it's, it's, it's just words. You messed up. It's your situation. You gotta lay in it. But at the end of the day, just try to man up and, you know, let your spouse know, let your partner know that I'm sorry. You know, I really did. And make the a other big thing is, it's, try it's, to move on, it's so. embarrassing, it's humiliating. I don't yeah. know how the guy feels. But I think that as a woman, when you look at it again, this is not just um, a situation to the one couple, but I've seen across the board where a couple's been together 10 years. I mean, from as young as you can get, 
and then the guy and they have a kid and then the guy has a kid with somebody else and now they have a kid and it's like how do you explain this middle kid like when you're telling people oh we've been together 10 years but he has a two-year-old by somebody like yeah it's yeah, very yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. And then you have to think that this woman has to bring, like, her fairy tale, her reality is completely exposed. The fairy tale is over. Now you have to communicate to everybody that there's this other kid. And it just, and women, if you're messing with somebody that you know has a family, value yourself enough to walk away. Yes. I mean, I don't know what it, I've never been a person that has knowingly dated men that are dealing with other women. So I think that the one thing that I can say for me is that I never allowed myself to enter into relationships like that because I never would want to hurt another woman in that kind of way. And that's obviously what I respect, what I expect in return. Yeah. So I think that if you're a woman and if you didn't know and then you find out, you need to pull away from the situation because now this child exactly. is going to be raised Call by a single mom because guess what? Married or not, now he's still running off with the girl that he was with originally. Yeah. And now you had this kid, and now this chick ought to be stepmama to your kid that she didn't want to see, that she didn't want to. And you know, I was younger, so fast forward, and um, we told you guys before the relationship with the youngest son is still it's it's not rocky. It's just more distant. Yeah, it's not as as it has been it, with the other boys. It's so. not, and and I think that could have. I think it had. I think yeah, it has yeah, something to do with it. With I mean, but as I got older, I definitely accepted him. And I will say this, women: if you're going to make the commitment to stay, do the work to get the relationship back on track. Yes. And when you make that commitment, make you have to face it head on. You can't have the child in the dark. You know, like he is here. Yeah. I gotta accept it. It's and you life. know what? The one thing is, and my husband can vouch for this is that I always told people when I made light of situations that were really hurting me and I, it was just so painful, I walked in my truth and I learned to not be ashamed because that was his doing. It, it, it really wasn't my error. No. And guys, you got to step up and try to take that Kind of take that away, yeah, yeah. Take it away from the you woman because to, it's not her fault. Yeah. So if any explaining or anything going on, you know, step up and say, "Hey, yeah, I messed up." You know what I'm saying? But like, another thing was he communicated with me also because we had to talk on the back end, like what was really happening. Even though it was a, a earlier time in our relationship, I needed to understand what was happening that caused him to even step out in the first place. So. But in our situation, our situation in that was one, it wasn't, it wasn't the stepping out because that was kind of a, That's true. a situation okay. that was So maybe this is more before. advice. This is more yeah. advice. But as we, as our relationship matured and other things came up, came up and not sexual things, but trying yeah. to connect with other women on a friendship level to probably get to a sexual place, I felt like I need to understand what happened. And yes. although I don't justify anyone else's behavior in terms of betrayal or, or stepping out of the relationship, I feel like when things go wrong in my relationship and in my marriage, I need to know what I contributed to that because maybe I wasn't giving you the attention or maybe I wasn't um, being just being there for you as a partner and as yeah. a support. So although it was hard to hear, I had to understand because... I know when I feel or have felt, especially when I was younger, that things were missing. I, although I wouldn't date a guy that had a girlfriend, you know, there were times when, well, there was a time in our relationship where I talked to another guy and kind of went on my way because I felt like some of my needs weren't being fulfilled. So yeah. thank God for Jesus. Exactly. Because, you know, we got past those things, but it was very difficult. It was very hard. And I think that you have to um, turn to God. First off, pray yes. about pray, it. Pray, pray about it. Oh, my God. Like, that would change. make a decision. Yeah. And then once you get that decision, pray to God to help you fight through it. And like I say, Absolutely. both parties got to be willing to put in the work. You know, it can't just put be ego aside. one person doing it and she need to stop tripping and she's nagging too much and she keep bringing it up. So what? She's going to keep bringing it up. And you know, goodness, where the roles were reversed. You leave. And you, you wouldn't be First off, we would leave, but for some <laughs> reason, you may stay around. You would leave, huh? Nah, if I walked up in the house pregnant talking about this Cujo baby, what would you do? I don't know. I 
That's another topic. Glass. <laughs> he know. He's no, like, he's back in the kids where I'm here. Uh, yeah. That's tough. So, I never thought about Yeah, that. me and reaction things a lot differently. So, you know, you just have to be mindful. If this you were on the other foot, how would I deal with this? And it would cause a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. And yeah. the thing is, when you bring a child in, not like in our situation, but in the situation of these other people, now you all have had a child first. You had another child, and you potentially risk losing your family. Yeah. If you don't handle this correctly, and now you're yeah. gonna have and now you two got kids, kids and that ain't living with you. Neither of them, and, and now you got two women all on your back, and more problems and more problems. So right. definitely try to avoid it. But for those that are in the situation, definitely pray about it. Communicate. Get your feelings out. How yeah. you feel. Express it. Don't get violent and all crazy because that can lead to other issues. But definitely yeah, figure out some way about communicating though. Let her know if you're not happy about it, you don't want to see the kid, the kid pissing you off, you feel in some type of way. That's okay. Everybody, it's, and it's that's emotions. normal. And yeah. don't let anybody tell you that you're that wrong you for that. Oh, well, yeah. it's, just, it's not the kid's fault. It ain't my goddamn on fault either. Like, yeah. what is this? So, so at this under, point, the kid is just a casualty. Get so. you know what? At, for the women, find an outlet. Find somebody who will get it. Somebody who will understand. That specifically, someone who's been through it. You also don't yes. want the homegirl home that's like, like leave them. Them. just forget it, because that's not where your heart is. Yeah. If you prayed and get, then the decision overall was to say, then trust God and trust that He's going to bring you through it. But know that you'll have to do the work to get through. And I think that's the most important thing. You know, I, I always say, like, involve God, involve your faith, and activate it and run with it. Period. Point. Up. And I also want to say this to other guys out there. Man up at times when you know you done messed up. The quickest, easiest way for a man to just say, you know what, I ain't going to put in the effort. She's tripping. Let me just leave. That's just giving up. Any Anybody can, can quit. Anybody can tap out of a situation. The real essence of being a man is being responsible, being somebody. And I'm not saying that responsibility, you always going to make the right decisions. But when you make those bad decisions, be responsible to fix it. Be responsible to stick in there, work it out with your family, work it out with your wife, your spouse, whoever it is that you really with. The other mother. And yeah. And like, and, and don't run from a situation. Don't make it everybody else's problem and you kind of like left out of like, well, I don't want to deal with this because she tripped them. So what? You the one did it. You the one made the mistake. Suck it up. You know, we all make mistakes, but it's all about how you actually deal with those mistakes and how you correct them. So that's why I love you, bro. Yeah, I definitely wanted to kind of get that out. It's definitely, man, we got to start being more responsible and stick it out. You can't just blame it on somebody else and you always do the easiest thing and just say, you know what, well, I don't want to be with you no more. Or well, if you don't want to be with me, then cool, go ahead and leave. No, 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 no. You can't just leave. I'm sorry. We've been doing this for five, six, seven, ten years. I made a mistake. The kid is here. Suck it up. We're going to make it work. And just, yeah. just going. And when you're confident like that and you show that leadership role and showing that you're being responsible and that you know the hurt that you have caused and that you vow to not make those same mistakes and I definitely, right. you know, uh, highly recommend do not make the same mistake again but if you did make that mistake, like I say, just man up, be responsible, take it head on, deal with the punishment that will come behind it, deal with the name call, dealing with the maybe stuff being thrown at you, the snooping or whatever it is that's <laughs> uncomfortable deal with it so what we meant so you, you can you can do it trust me and if it gets too tough pray about it like i say ask god to lead you pray about it first to eliminate yeah. all the tough stuff like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't make that your last resort yeah but no make it your first resort but i just want you to know that you know even though we may pray about it also be you know mindful that the reality is you're going to have some drama. You're going to have the consequences. You're going to have a pissed off And the woman, thing so. is, not only is your wife going to be pissed off, but somewhere in this other woman's mind, she's gonna there was a drama. fairy tale. Yeah. And now she's going she gonna to get your butt. Period. Point blank. Right. Like she, she's going to be out for blood. Especially if she was knowingly the side chick. Yeah. You know, it's different for somebody who's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that was going on. I'm so sorry, more of a sympathetic role, but somebody who consciously made the decision and they decided that we're going to have this kid, they yeah. had a different expectation of the outcome. Definitely. 
So, you know, now you have to think about, well, how are we going to co-parent? How are we really going to do things in the best interest of this child when people, and that's the thing, kids, when kids get involved in situations like that, it's never about the kid. I don't care what the woman says, the, the woman that's having the child. Because your whole interest was, I'm having this child to try in to hopes to man. try to get this man. Yeah. And that's the problem, women, but that's a whole other topic. So, yeah. you know, we just want to leave you guys with um, with with everything that he just said and, <laughs> and standing up and taking responsibility. Yeah. But for those of you that we know are dealing with it and are going through it, it's a long journey. And, and we, it's will something, pray for you. we will pray for you. Yeah. And... You know, that's what this is, and that's what this is about. You know, that this is something again that was placed in our heart by God. And, and also, anybody who's been right. through it themselves and made it out, uh, definitely give leave your comments, advice, give please. your advice, um, and let them know what you did. And if you want to send us an email, I'll kind of explain your situation please. about, you know, how you experienced it and what you decided to do, and, you know, how you guys got past it too, as well. Because, like I said, I think. We just want to be able to have like a community and a and a place where everybody can help each for other. For support, so, really, yeah. because we want to see the family blended together. Yeah. We, we know what the odds are against us being blended families, being young And families. we definitely know it's not always going to be the ideal of, you know, you get together with somebody, you don't have kids, they don't have kids, and you have your own kids. That's the ideal type of... Uh, marriage and relationship that you want, but in today's society and the times that we live in, that's just not the likelihood. So uh, we just want to encourage everybody out there, uh, stick it out, uh, pray. Thank you guys for tuning in, and like I say, send us an email, leave a comment. Uh, what's the email, by the way? I don't know. Uh, we gotta make one. No, we oh, have one. I think it's Glenn yeah. Moore Family. At gmail.com. Blendmore family at gmail.com. He kind of put me on the spot. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Blendmore family <laughs> at gmail.com. So please send your message. It can be anonymous, but just remember that you shedding light on your story is going to help somebody. Somebody. Else. And that's all we have. Thank, Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Bye bye.